Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of FM20 Rebuilding Kaiser Slaughter. I am Pongyo and this is episode 5. So, I came back a little bit later. Um, you can see we're in February. So yeah, I came back a little bit later. Um, I was going to come back for the Monster and Hell game. Um, but uh, I, I thought I'll go through those games, get them done and get... Uh, transfers done. So, uh, the transfer window closed um, on the same day that we played this game. So, yeah, you can see we went through uh, a terrible run. So, after I think this was the last game we played. Um, so, yeah, we've, we went through quite a lot of games in the league. What one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in the league with four draws and three defeats. And now in the league, we've had since then we've had uh, a win, a draw, and a defeat. No, oh, two wins. A draw and a defeat since then. So yeah, um, we are set in third. We're ten points behind Erdingen, five behind Ingolstadt. Um, but we've done a lot um, throughout the transfer window. So uh, let's look at what we've been able to do. So we've sold a couple of players. Um, most notably, you see, yep, Yaya Tori. Um, we got a good bit of money for him. Um, the Olympiacos came in and the board rejected that he came he was complaining about well, okay we'll, we'll sell you um, so we got 240 grand for him and um, he's doing pretty well for for uh, Olympiacos though so that's that's good um, but before that uh, we had Lucas Balves come in and uh, he he went and played uh, he, went, he went to Derby um, but uh, it doesn't look like he's played so far. Um, two and a half million, I will like, yep, take that. Um, he is now worth what, 4.4 uh, million, so there is that. Um, but obviously going to England is going to increase your, your price. Um, then we had Alexander Mayer, he was complaining about not getting enough game time, so he went to uh, Dresden, Dynamo Dresden, and uh, yeah, they paid 100 grand for him. Uh, Hendrik, Hendrik Zuk, uh, Grasshoppers come in, 675,000, um, so we were happy to take that from, from them for him. Um, pretty decent money. Um, Florin, uh, Florin Picks went to a video. Uh, he wasn't really getting a lot of game time with us. Um, it was mostly sub. Well, he had a couple appearances, but he was never really doing much. So, yeah, when he came in for that, we thought, why not? Take him, take him off our hands. Uh, Manfred Steck. Starkey, um, he is away to Bochum for 95000 so that's a uh, good another, another little bit of money for us, a player who never play, played for us. And um, Grenz, this was a young goalkeeper who they came in on deadline day and took off her hand. So, uh, yeah, so made a good bit of money. And um, then uh, you can see we've spent a lot as well. So, uh, one, 1.5. We've spent pretty much about what we made from uh, from Lucas Spalvis, but we've pretty much spent um, on our own transfer. So we bought uh, Sebastian Kirk from Nür uh, Nuremberg for 200000 um, which seems to be good value for money so far. He was at us on loan before, um, played a good few games for them, mostly off the bench, but hey, 200000 he's now worth, what, 575 so that's not bad. Um, he, uh, Henk Veerman um, from St. Pauli for 800000 Hasn't scored yet in the two games. Um, didn't really, not really look that great so far, which is a bit ups, a bit uh, annoying, um, but hopefully it comes good. Um, Ivan Puruzvic, um, a defensive midfielder on loan. Um, been doing not too bad so far. Um, then we've got Timo Hubers is a central defender who we've got on loan. Uh, didn't co not costing too much. Uh, Clemens Fenrik, uh, five hundred thousand, have a million signing now worth seven hundred thousand. He's done pretty well in the two games that he's played for us, so pretty happy with him so far. Uh, Jorge Silva, um, just another little guy on loan um, from Lazio, so not too bad there. And uh, then we've got uh, Anderson Lotre. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Uh, he's our new left back. Uh, got him in for two hundred thousand. He's worth one hundred thirty-five. So uh, hopefully he comes good. And Andres Luth. Uh, we just brought in this goalkeeper. Just played his debut. He uh, against uh, who was it? Uh, yeah, 
uh, Unterhanching, and he saved a penalty um, in that game, which was good. Um, eight third minute penalty, he saved it, so that was good. Um, so, good start to his career. So, yeah, we're back for the Kausru and Kausru, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and Bayern 2, FC Bayern 2. Um, so, yeah, this is the third round. Let's see. Uh, how we do it's match day and yeah so there we go Leipzig just got put out um, Frankfurt just put out Hanover um, and Bayern Munich have got Dusseldorf Fortuna Dusseldorf so we're, we're the only team in left in it I think that is from outside yeah League 3 or also League 1 or League 2 so yeah we're the lowest ranked, lowest ranked team um, in it. Um, again, at home, um, you can see we've got Vermin, Kirk, Vandrik, Purvev, uh, Purovic, Hubers, Loice, and Luther. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new players in the team compared to what we had in the last episode. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and I'm not hearing about nine subs. Nine subs is just a joke. You don't need nine subs. So yeah, that's their team, flat 4-4-2. Four, four, um, okay, and let's see how how good are some of these players. Two million. 775,000. Hoffman, 2.3 million. Choi Kyung Rock. Yeah, so they're... they're Players are not worth that much overall. I feel like they're kind of playing like a, a backup team against this, thinking that they're going to beat us. Um, so that could go into our favour. Um, but who knows? Um, we've not been playing great over the past couple of months. Um, so there's that to contend with. But hey, we've come up against two Bundesliga 1 teams and beaten them in, in the competition so far. So you never know. Just have to ride our luck. So, oh, oh, there we go. Bergman, he scored a, he scored a, a cracking free kick in that last game when we won 1 0. Um, taking over the set pieces since um, Tories left. Well, so much more so the free kicks because he was doing corners and things previously. So, yeah, he's took over everything since Tories left and he scored a really good uh, goal from his free kick. Putting him under a little bit of, a little bit, a little bit of pressure so far. So let's give the guys a little bit of praise, let them know, hey, you well, overwhelmed two of them, oh well. Kirk's on the, pre uh, the corners now, okay. Uh, Fandrake out to Hubers. Godin's got it, passes all the way back. Boo! Play it forward, guys, come on. We are playing balance, so they won't be attacking too much, just slowly building up play. Hopefully they don't catch us out. Okay, get it, keep it. There we go. Doing pretty well with the passing out. That's lovely. Oh, and he's put it away. Veerman with his first goal for the club. Lovely. That was that was well played. There. That was a good string of passes that were played together there. Really happy with that. Keeping the possession, putting the passes together really well. We've done more than yeah, we've done like double the amount of passes. No, well, not now, uh, but we had. So yeah, we're doing well. Let's uh, know a little bit of praise just before half time. There we go, one nil at half time. Uh, let's just let them know we're doing well. Please, oh, I pressed the wrong one. Yep, I told them there's still room for improvement, but they're, they're doing really well so far. Okay, clear cut chances two. So maybe we should be doing a little bit better than just one nil at least. A little bit more praise for them. Uh, coming up for the sentiment mark. So we'll do our first sub. I think we'll put... Um, we'll take those two guys off and put John Jake on for Kirk, maybe. Uh, just to... Yeah, they're both playing 6.4s. Or 6.6 .6 from a clean, but... Hey. And another little bit of praise. We'll wait until about the 85th minute. Bring on a third sub. Oh. No, come on guys, don't, 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 no, come on guys, so close, 
Ah, damn it. Demand more from them. So we're going into injury time, extra time, yep. Ah, that's, that's disappointing. Uh, aggressive. Not happy. Shouldn't have let them back into the game that late. Okay, there's... Oh, come on, come on, keep it ball, keep it back in the middle. Come on, get it in. Oh, it's a goal! McMullen! Yes! 2-1. Okay, we've still got a few minutes left of this, this half, so let's just give them a bit of praise. Okay, there's the first half's finished. Okay, and let's start the second half. Who's not playing too? I mean, everybody's a 6.8 at least. They've got quite a few 6.6s six and 6.7s. Wait until... Oh no, I was just about to make a sub again. <sighs> okay, so, a few minutes to go. Uh, we'll bring... Uh, mm, who do we bring on? Fekner for... There we go, we'll bring Fekner on. Uh, go a bit more defensive. Uh, concentrate. There, there we go. 2 1 win. Fantastic. Against another team, a division above us. So we'll get a good bit of money uh, for that. Three, last time it was about 385,000 we got. So Bayern Munich ended up winning an extra time as well. Oof. Zimmer scoring a fifth. After being down to. Jeez, after being down to 10 men, they still came back and gave Dortmund a run for the money. Um. Okay, so that's good. Oh, and that was a derby as well, so that's that's good. That's excellent to win in a derby. Um, Six hundred four thousand we've received for that round now, so we'll receive it, receive even more money. We're into the quarters. That's fantastic into the quarters. And Vermin, uh, Verm uh, Vermin, Vermin, uh, also scored, uh, given the assist in that game as well. Okay, so when do we when do we see the draw? When do we see the draw for the... I'm not sure when that is. Okay, so we're going to go to the next game. Um, we against Bayern. Oh, there's the, there's the quarterfinal draw. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Um, draw next team. We avoid... Oh, we're going to get Dortmund, aren't we? Oh, Frankfurt, okay. Um, still, no matter who we go, it's going to be a Bundesliga 1 team anyway. But the fact that we're at home again is fantastic. What was the attendance for that one? 49,000. I think that's pretty much our uh, stadium capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're filling out the capacity um, there. So that's that's good. We're, we've got... Uh, where, where are they in the... Where are they there? 12th in the Bundesliga right now. So who were the teams to beat before? Freiburg and Mainz. Who have, yeah, both of them have dropped right off, haven't they? Um, but yeah, no, no better than Frankfurt's no better than both of where they are right now. So that's that's pleasing. But although they were more early season, maybe they weren't quite up to speed. But I, I feel that a lot of teams are just not playing the bigger, the, the full teams, full strength teams. Sam um, thinking that they're just going to walk over us, which could also be playing into our hands at the same time. Um, so yeah. The, the, the Bayern game is tomorrow, so I may as well just keep clicking continue and just doing this all in one one shot. No point splitting the the footage up between episode uh, between cuts uh, because we are now there at the Bayern game. So let's let's get into it. Let's see. Do we do we just keep the same team? Um, they're, they're doing well um, fitness wise. Nobody's got re any real problems. I feel. Um yeah, I think we're just sticking with with this with this game with this team because they are that's two two in a row that we've now won. Um so they've kept us undefeated for two, so that's good. Uh by FC Bayern two away. This is gonna be a bit of a difficult game maybe. Um we need to get something from this. They beat us at home quite convincingly last time. I think it was three 0 they beat us. I can't remember, but I think yeah, I think it was something like three 0 maybe the beat us or two 0 at least. So hopefully we can get something out of it this time around. I think we'll just keep it keep it unbalanced, uh, and then maybe we. 
little bit more tacking towards the end if it's still if we're still drawing maybe they start settling for a draw as well and then we can hit them on the counter maybe uh, I don't know um, but we'll, we'll keep it like this for now Urdingen they're one nil up already let's give a bit of praise uh, they're on a oh, lovely plucky chair by Luth just leapt out in there and grabbed the ball in midair excellent to see Oh, that was a bit weak. Don't give the ball away like that, guys. Come on. Get him. Oh, Jesus. Jung Wo Young scored his 10th. I think he scored against us in the last game, didn't he? Did he? Oh, I can't even remember now. I think he might have. Uh, I want to check. I want to check. Did he score against us the last time? Yeah, uh, so they only beat us 1-0 last time, and yeah, he did score against us in the last game. I thought it was maybe 2 or 3-0 to beat us, but no. Okay, we have to go attacking now because we are behind, and being balanced is just not going to cut it. I expect to see a better showing from you guys in the second half, and demand more. Yeah. We're not going to get anything from this game, are we? We're just not making any clear-cut chances. Neither, neither are they, mind you, but... Hey, come on, guys. No, nothing. Right. Uh, let's bring Mullen on for Kirk. And we'll put Mullen and McLean around the other way. Uh, we'll bring Silva on for Huber. And we'll bring... We'll bring in Fechner on for... Let's bring Fechner on for... Vandrick, and then we'll put Persevic, uh, Purev, Pur Pur Purevic, we'll put him in that bit there. Okay, let's see, come on guys, nothing, nothing, all right, tactics, uh, hit early balls, more, more direct, come on guys, more direct, uh, a bit more tempo, uh, counter, Pretty quickly. Okay, let's try that. Push forward. Nothing. Nothing at all. Ah, uh, come on. Highlight. Come on. This is it. This is it. Come on. Do something with it. Do something with it. Do. Come on. Something. Anything. Not that. Anything but that. Okay, we've still got the ball at least. Come on, go, go then, put it in. Oh, back post, McMullen, please be on side. Yes! Okay. Uh, very attacking. Push forward. Too late to really do anything. There we go. We got the equaliser in the end. Um, so that's good at least, um, but not good enough. We're now seven points behind Ingolstadt. Uh, we really need to be keeping up with these two because they're just going to run away with it now when everybody's kind of bunching up behind us. Um, but we are still in that promotion spot. Um, which it's what that's all they're looking for, wasn't it? Is to be in the promotion uh, playoff, reach a playoff, yeah. And we've already done that, so we're. And we're working within balance. We're a couple of thousand below budget. We've still got a little bit of transfer budget. So, and we're we're, we're doing pretty decent in money terms as well. So yeah, there we go. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we're sitting third in the table. Uh, I think we'll come back. Where are we going to come back for? Um. Maybe we'll come back for Frankfurt and Würzburg games. Um, so that we'll come back for the quarterfinal. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Quarterfinal for Würzburg, uh, Frankfurt and then Würzburg. That's going to be the next two. So we'll play these three um, off camera, off recording. And yeah, we'll be back there. Hopefully we can get a few points there. What? 18th, 7th and 20th. So yeah, hopefully we can pick something up against those three teams. Two of the lower teams at home and a mid-table team at home, out away. So... Hopefully we can do something there, and yeah, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you get notified when we upload future videos. And leave some comments below. What do you think of the sign-ins? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next episode.
Goodbye.